Hey guys, I have something very cool to show you today. Um, this is a combination of two different techniques, screen space reflection and voxel ray tracing. And I finally got them both working together within the same pipeline, worked into the PBR uh, component of the material render. Uh, so it's all coming together really nicely and they're blending a lot better than I was expecting. Now here you can see we have this static scene and this moving character and you can see um, he's not moving a whole lot but you can see his reflection it's blurry but you can see this emotion there as he moves around and that part of the reflection is screen space actually everything that we have screen space information for we're using that preferentially and then when the screen space uh, reflection is not available then we switch over to the voxel ray tracing data and the voxel ray tracing that only shows uh, static objects because it just it's fast enough to use with with objects in motion but it just it doesn't look very good yet if we try to do that so right now we're just using it for static objects so normally with the uh, screen space ray tracing when things go off screen the reflection disappears so that's what happens when we look down but we can still see the reflection of the scene and that's because the renderer just switched over to the voxel ray tracing which is almost indistinguishable from the screen space information you know i might i might have it a little bit miscalibrated there because it looks like that box is getting cut off too early but it is pretty close. It is really, really close. And this is just, this is with a flat, you know, mirror-like floor. Um, in reality, you don't want to make all your surfaces mirrors. Uh, things to, this, reflections tend to look a lot better when you just have little reflective bits here and there. And I've actually noticed the same thing in, um, in industrial design. Like, uh, they don't typically make an entire automobile out of chrome. Usually you have, your, co your car is a specific color, and then you just use chrome just for some highlights here and there, because it doesn't actually look that good to have the entire thing reflective. But when I'm testing, you know, when I'm testing out the, uh, the reflection code, then of course I want it to be as highly visible as possible. So I think it'll look, anyways, I think it'll look even better in a finished scene with, you know, where it's used more uh, conservatively but I'm really happy with how this just blends together because the screen space uh, reflections that gives us you know very very good reflections of everything that's on the screen with zero latency it's great for animation particles anything that voxels don't handle so well and then the voxel uh, ray tracing that provides a much much nicer alternative to um, environment maps which is what we were using before like a like a static cube map that was rendered uh, so this is really really fantastic I'm really happy with how this has turned out and I think it's going to be uh, really fantastic to use in games uh, because it doesn't use it doesn't require any baking any processing really a um, there's really nothing to it. You just turn it on and it's completely dynamic and it just works. Uh, so, and it's also very fast. I'm running this at like 200 frames per second on a GeForce uh, 1660. So it's easily, this will easily run in VR on low to mid range hardware. So that's it. Hope you like it.